What's going on guys? Corpravient here with another how-to video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fish on the new Plains of Elder Idaron. Not sure how you pronounce that. Um, but we're going to be doing fishing and mining. <clears throat> when it comes to fishing, I'm going to be showing you guys what kind of fish you can catch at what times and where you can catch them. And a beginner's guide of how you can even start fishing. Um, we're going to do the same thing for mining, but mining is a lot easier. Anyways, the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and go into your orbit and you want to go to Earth and go to Cetus. This is where you're going to get all of your basic supplies uh, for starting off, um, your spear for fishing, and your, uh, I guess, chisel, if you will, for mining. These will require a little bit of rep, but not much. So it's best that if you haven't yet, you go complete a bounty just to get a little bit of rep. So you're going to want to go to the center of the town and when you get to the center of the town on your mini map at the top left you're going to notice a bunch of little icons. Look for the icon that looks like a fish and go over there and talk to Fisher High Luck and you're going to want to browse wares. Now while you're here go ahead and purchase the Lanzo Fishing Spear you can buy the peppered bait if you like and the luminos dye. I will be using both of those in this walkthrough, but I'm also going to use it without them. So if you're a beginner and you're just going to be using the fishing spear to start out, that's fine. Once you purchase all of those, go ahead and go over to the miner, which is obviously the little hammer. And old man Subat. And you're going to do the same thing. And really, the only thing you need here to start off is the no Sam cutter. And go ahead and purchase that. Once you get both of them, you're ready to start mining and fishing. Go ahead and leave Cetus. The reason we're going to leave Cetus is you, you can enter the plane straight from there but you have to equip the items onto your gear slot. So you're going to go to your gear and make sure you equip your spear and your no sam cutter. But keep in mind that if you've bought any bait or a tr um, luminous or anything like that, you don't have to put it on your gear thing. It'll automatically do, do it for you so it doesn't have to waste the slot. Once you got them equipped it onto your gear, go ahead and go back to your navigator and enter the Plains of Edelon. Now, if you're going to do this solo, I would do this solo if you're going to spend some time farming some of the ores and fish out there. We're going to hope that it's nighttime right now. And if it's nighttime, there's a whole lot more variety of fish than there are during the day. Don't get me wrong, you can still cat catch some monsters during the day. It always takes a little bit to load. <clears throat> mining is real easy, so if you're going to be if you're watching this tutorial to learn on mining, you want to fast forward a little bit toward the end of this video. A good amount of this video is going to be spent on the beginning parts of fishing and where to find certain kinds of fish. And it is nighttime, which is perfect. So if you don't have what I'm doing right now, which is the Arcwing Launcher, don't worry about it. You can, just going to take you a little bit longer to get there. Basically, we're going straight west from where we are right now, where the ocean is kind of touching the corner there. And I will uh, better show you my spot when I get there, because sometimes I get lost trying to find it myself. Okay, this building right here is a good marker, the one that kind of looks like a bunch of tentacles sticking up and rocks. That's a good uh, marker to let you know you're in the right spot. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down right here. So now that we're at a good fishing spot, because they tell you in the tutorial that to look for splashes in the water. So go ahead and put on your fishing gear, or your spear, I'm sorry. And obviously it says right there if you want to throw the bait to tap your middle mouse button. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm going to show you how to fish without using anything right off the start. Um, 
this is not a really good spot. I don't recommend you go here just without anything if you're just fishing. But you can see fish down there in the water. Very slightly. Um, there's one right there. So that's the best way to do it. Just kind of look. But this isn't a good spot. But now that I'm on my map, I'm going to show you guys where I'm at. You guys can see me right there. And again, that's a good marker right there. That big structure. So follow the coastline down, and I'm going to show you guys the best spot that I have found on the coast for fishing. You want to sneak up on this without getting seen, just so you don't get attacked while you're down here fishing. Otherwise, you'll be turning around every five minutes to fight, which, I mean, it happens. But this rock right here, stand right on this rock, and all you're going to do is just wait. And sometimes this takes a couple seconds or so. As long as it's not me getting shot at. <laughs> but once they, the fish start to come, I mean, they, you'll get them back to back. So just give it a couple seconds after you get to this rock. There we go. There's one over there. We're going to let a little few more come. Ah, I missed him. He was a small one anyway. Got him. It's a little small one. You're going to catch a lot of these. I call them goops all the time. Uh, they're very common, especially during the day. And when you throw some bait in, that's when it can get interesting on what you'll catch right here. Let's see if we got a couple more goops before I throw bait in just to show you how I fish without using anything. Again, at night and during the day, fishing here, you're going to catch a lot of goops. You're going to catch a lot of goops right out of any place that's on the ocean. Alright, since I've caught a couple, I want to go ahead and, so this video doesn't take 30 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and throw a bait, some bait out there. Okay, I just want to take one glitch apparently and not throw my bait. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's a nice size one. Got him. 10 pound goop but now that there's bait out there and it's nighttime guarantee you we're going to catch some other stuff i'm also going to throw some luminous dye in now um that will light up any fish that comes in the area like see the little one over there oh this will help a lot in nighttime uh oh, how did that not hit him but with the bait, you're normally going to attract some sharks and uh, hopefully a crustacean or two. I'd like to catch one of each before I move on to the next area to show you the next kind of fish to catch. Again, I normally have really good luck here. It's actually slow, of course, while I'm recording the video. Alright, there's a crustacean out there. Let's see if I can grab it. And that's uh, another goop out there. So I'm going to try for him. Another goop right there. Where are the sharks at? There was a crustacean right there. How did I miss that? I just suck at this. <laughs> Alright, there's a shark. Don't miss this throw. Got him. So that's what a shark will look like. That's a very small one. Um, I've caught it up to 40 uh, kilograms before, so they definitely can get pretty big. So that's a shark and a goop so far that I've been actually able to catch and show you. Again, I'm going to try and catch a crustacean real quick, and if I can't, I can't. And crustaceans get big too. Uh, the biggest I've caught is like 21 pounds, or 21 kilograms, I think. So... I'm trying to scare these goop off or catch them if I can, but I suck too much to hit on. But yeah, so the last thing I can that I've that I've caught out of here is the uh, crustacean. I'm not exactly 100% sure what it's called. I forget. I, I can show them to you in my inventory when we go to sell them after this. Uh, that's a nice size goop. Oh, it came up right up to me. 20 pound goop. 
So the bait does attract uh, some bigger ones sometimes. I said I'd like to catch a crustacean. I just don't see it happening. Because I kept, kept missing the two that popped up. That in the area. Damn, I suck. Alright, gonna throw one more bait and see if we can catch crustacean. Another shark eating my bait. There's a crustacean. And that didn't hit him somehow. Now that did. And it's called a uh, carquina. That's a small one too, as I said. I've caught some very large ones of these. So finally, after catching all of those, I'm going to go ahead and move on. I said you can catch some bigger, you just, bigger ones here. You just have to spend some time doing it. Um, but those are sharks and goops right there. And there's crustaceans. So... Moving on, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the next spot to uh, go fishing at. And that's going to be the river. And you can catch some good stuff over there too. Um, we're going to go to that, pretty much that lake right over there, to uh, right in front of the main building. Heading the right way. Again, if you don't have your uh, Arkling landing gear, it's just going to take you a little bit longer to get there, but that's no big deal. Alright. Now, the lake, I've had good uh, good catches here at the lake as well. Um, so, it's going to be the same concept. Go ahead and throw your spear on. And I'm going to go ahead and start this one out with bait completely and uh, a luminous. And look at the size of that eel already. So that's the first catch is a 21.4 kilogram eel. As I'm getting zapped by the. Now, right here in this particular spot, I've caught a lot of eel. Um, all sizes. And they, they get big. And there's another big one right there. And of course, I miss him. Now you're gonna get a lot of eel when you're in this brush right here, like all these le um, leaves and stuff. Another 24 kilogram eel right there. Now that's a large one. Um, that's all these little ones are. So if you're, you have these leaves and you drop it in this area, most of the time you're gonna catch eels. If you want to catch other stuff, you need to find an opening in these where there's no. Uh, Real big leaves or anything like that. I'm gonna throw some bait out there now too. A spot where the water is real clear is always the best. Uh, you always obviously want to be able to see the fish, and your luminous will look, allow you to put it on every two minutes or so. Um, these are still a lot of eels. Still real close to all the the leaves and stuff though. And if I don't see the other kind of fish that I caught in here soon, which I've only actually caught two in here, so I'm not sure this is the prime spot for it. But it's almost kind of like a bass looking type fish. No, too small, too small. And nothing extravagant. So that'll pretty much sum up the fishing tutorial. Um, again, at the nighttime, there's I've caught two different kinds of fish out of this spot right here, and three different out kinds out of the ocean. I'm not sure how many are actually in the game total. Uh, seeing there is a shark that's beached up on the ocean, would love to see if that's actually in the game to try and get one day. That would be interesting. 
Um, so now we're going to go ahead and go into the mining part of this. So if you're picking up mining, you're going to want to go ahead and walk around with your no sam cutter. And this is the easiest thing to do. So you can do this two ways. At nighttime is the easiest to do this, I find. Because you can go right to a rock ledge and kind of skim and see if you see any nodes. And by nodes, I'll show you in a second when I find one. It might take me a minute or two. Sometimes they're just a pain in the butt to find. You do this by two ways. You do this by sound and you do this by sight. So I can't see anything right now, but I'm going to stop talking for a second so you can listen. Hear the beeping? That's letting you know when you're close. And as you go far away, you know, it's you hear less and less. And when you look at it, you hear more. So, this is what the mining node looks like in this game. So to mine it, you're going to hold your right click, and you're going to see a symbol pop up. And you want to draw that symbol as close as you possibly can. It's not as easy as it looks, trust me. And if you mess up, just let go and start again. And as you get close to that symbol, it'll eventually pop and the ore will come out. Let's see if we can find a couple more nodes. This is all different kinds. There we go. See, a lot of times you're going to have to do this by sound. Um, but you can also see them visibly at night pretty well. See, like I can see that one. I can't hear it, but I know it's there. Oh, that didn't actually, that's not even one. <laughs> it tricked me. Um, okay. Some ticking going off. And you're just gonna draw all the shape. As close as you can. You don't have to be perfect with it, you'll get the ore. So I'll do one more just to show one more. And then that'll pretty much sum up this tutorial. Um, those that want to watch, I am gonna make a continuation video of other fishing spots, other kinds of fish. Um, I'm going to hit all the different fishing spots on here for the night. So if there's any that I haven't caught yet, we can learn them all together. Not having great luck seeing any right now. Normally I can see some glowing off some of the rocks. That one kind of looks like one, but I can't tell from that. Nope, it's just a glimmer. There are blue ones that tend to look like uh, water or glare sometimes. Now, while you're out here, don't forget you always want to pick up these little nodes and things like that. A lot of these resources are used for many different things. Um, so while you're out here just scavenging, you might as well. We got, we got one around here. There it is. All right. So, and I'm not sure how if like you, if you get it more precise on your drawing, if you get a better cut of gem. Uh, I'd love to know if anybody figures that out, and you can put that in the comments below. That would be great. Um, anyways, after you get done farming all the materials that you're going to farm, there's one major thing you have to do, and that is do not abort the mission or leave just by, like, leaving the game. 
You have to go back to the town and turn it in. Otherwise, it does not count. And I'm pretty sure, I don't think it's just me, everybody kind of experiences a little bit of lag here. And then I'm going to show you guys one thing before I end this tutorial. And that's what you can do with the fish that you've caught. Because you do have a choice of different things you can do. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. So that was our outcome. That's not a bad haul. <clears throat> Alright, so when you're back to town... Sorry for the lag, I, I mean I've populated one obviously. Go ahead and go to the fishing guy again. And you can go to fishing services. Now here you can select your fish, which I... Here's a lot of the different kinds of fish that I have not turned in yet. But uh, this is the only one I don't think you guys have saw. And that's one of the ones that I caught out of that lake, which was a trollock. I don't remember if I caught him during the day, though. But it says that can pierce the darkest of shadows, so I'm going to assume that he is a nighttime predator. But anyways, go ahead and select the... I don't want to trade those in. Select the fish that you want to trade. Just a wee and you're going to see it pop up down here and hit OK. And now you can see that you can trade it in to we get reputation if you want. Um, depending how much you have available. So don't turn this in if you don't have any available. Or you can turn it into cut bait. Here you'll get fish meat, fish scales, cupola spleen, and fish oil. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut them using this cut bait. Because I'm going to farm the rep. And for the miner... The trick to doing the impossible is to get out there. You can do the same thing, it. but you have to craft these gems using the recipes that he offers in his wares. So that is the basic tutorial to fishing and mining. Again, watch the video to follow after this if you want to see the different kinds of fish that you're going to catch in throughout the night um, in all the different locations of Edelon. Again, if this video, guys, if this video helped you, please subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.